Whoa, that's a big one. Ah, Where'd the smoke come from? I mean, I'm British and even I... Uh, ah! I'm alive? I'm alive! I'm... Oh, sh Dear Diary, I have been taken hostage by a gang of pirates, led by the infamous Calico Jack Rackham. They are a disordered bunch of idiots, really. But amongst the rabble lie a pair of diamonds in the rough. Anne Bonny and Mary Reed. Upon first glance, they seem an odd duo. Mary, in particular, from a distance she appears small, but in fact she's merely far away. According to my calculations, she is in fact taller than even some of history's best-known figures. Hmm. 158 centimeters. Never would have guessed. Back to the present. In combat, they fight simplistically, yet ferociously. Unlike any man I have seen aboard this vessel. Their offense consists of a two-pronged assault, their so-called noble phantasm, and apparent critical damage. Their primary weapon of attack is this noble phantasm, the quick Caribbean Freebird. It targets a single opponent and, rather bizarrely, seems to get stronger the closer the pair are to death, this increase scaling with overcharge. Perhaps this is some strange, hedonistic pirate ritual? They can boost the damage of this attack further through working in tandem, a skill they call Combination. It briefly raises their attack by as much as 30% for one turn. Yet this skill is also the gateway to the rest of their offensive arsenal, namely their critical damage. In addition to the attack boost, it increases for one turn their gather rate of these golden stars Reminiscent, perhaps, of their obsessive attachment to gold and treasure. This, of course, means that they thrive best when using both of their core offensive components on the same turn. Having hoarded these so-called critical stars, the pair execute a deadly assault, empowered by another skill, marksmanship. Doubtless referring to the remarkable aim of Anne Bonny. This improves their critical damage by up to 100%, oh my. Though, again, it is merely for one turn. With their noble phantasm and critical damage, the pair make for a scintillating, yet ultimately all too brief, offensive sight, which sadly appears the norm amongst these libertine pirates. There are, however, concerns one must express regarding their rather rambunctious fighting style. They lack any form of defense to speak of, perhaps something to be expected from such offensive characters. But the other concern is regarding those fancy golden critical stars they love so much. Namely, how do they go about procuring so many? Indeed, they have a skill, Voyage, designed to increase their own star generation by up to 50% for three turns, and a pair of quick cards to boot. Yet, competent star generators they are not, making them reliant on their crewmates for such assets. <sighs> After weeks of keen observation, I must admit they are fighters who are rough, disorderly, and simplistic. Yet, they have so much potential. They are not yet complete, and with their natural lust for treasure, I know they won't sit idly by. These buffs that can improve their fighting capabilities are indeed treasures in their own right. Prizes to be obtained that will make Anne and Mary the fighters I know they can be. And, dear diary, I shall now join this crew, eager to see their journey through. Dear Diary, the first treasure hath been claimed! Anne and Mary have improved their noble phantasm's firepower, increasing its damage. Nothing outstanding, admittedly, but I believe claiming this booty lays the groundwork for future success. A precursor, a sign of things to come. Oh, right, I'm a pirate now. Ah!
Ahoy, me matey! I come bearing good tidings. The second treasure has been found, and with it, an all-new, superb improvement for Anne and Mary. Gone is the useless moribund voyager still, replaced by... <coughs> oh my, um, docking assault rank B+. Plus? Well, don't look at me. I don't come up with these names. This is an extraordinary upgrade, with significant repercussions for their noble phantasm. Firstly, they gain an all-new NP gain buff for three turns, of up to 30%, making their all-important noble phantasm easier to access. However, dare I say, the most exciting part is the new one-turn taunt and three-turn guts they gain. This does make them the target of enemy far, yes, but this actually works in their favour, as their noble phantasm hits harder the closer they are to being killed. And even better, that guts, it returns them to life with just one point of health, making Caribbean Freebird as potent as it can possibly be. With such an upgrade, I feel the pair have almost reached their potential. Almost. Dear me mateys, at last, the third and final treasure has been claimed, and with it, I feel the journey of this pirate duo is at an end. Sure, the treasure itself is nothing too fanciful, it merely improves the marksmanship skill to dazzling pirate princesses, a name far too resplendent for what is in effect simply a drop of up to 25 stars on top of the pre-existing critical damage buff. But what might be ordinary for others completes their offense. For when I previously wrote, reader, of the issues with their critical damage, did I not mention a lack of stars? This solves that problem. These critical hits can even assist the NP gain buff from the last treasure. Anne and Mary's offense, reader. However short, over perhaps in the blink of an eye, one turn, as it were, is for now complete. Dear Diary, this shall be my final entry. I bid farewell to the crew, or more accurately, I made my escape by convincing my fool of a bunkmate to allow me to leave. I hope they treat the poor button nicely. I hope today you have seen the power of that most sordid yet adventurous pirate duo, and how by finding their treasures, their buffs, they now find themselves whole. Though pirates that they are, they shall doubtless search the seven seas for even greater treasures yet. Such is the appetite of true pirates. <laughs>